Hi friends, welcome to another episode. Today is the 27th episode in the space series. So in the last episode of the space series, we discussed about the star known as the Proxima Centauri star, which is in the Alpha Centauri system. So today we are going to discuss about that Alpha Centauri system. So in this system, again there are two other stars, Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. So in total there are three stars. Yes, so Alpha Centauri is a gravitationally bound system of the the closest stars and planets to the solar system at 4.37 light years from the sun yes so even if it is the closest to the our solar system it is still very far away <laughs> yes so it is a triple star system which has which is consisting of alpha centauri a also known as rigel centaurus next alpha centauri b also known as toliman next and also next the closest star to the sun alpha centauri c or mostly known as proxima centauri centauri yes yeah, so these belong to centaurus constellation so the, their name means alpha next the centaurus constellation and yeah like that so while proxima centauri has it a bit different because proxima means closest and next centauri which means of course the centaurus oh, yes so the in centaurus constellation so closest star in the central constellation proxima centauri yes and, and also in the centaurus constellation there are many stars which have centauri including another system with three stars known as beta centauri and another one with three stars which is three centauri what is that three centauri next kappa centauri yes there are many centauri out there you can search in google because there are many of them yes you can search in google stars in the centaurus constellation and there will be a lot of them yes so alpha centauri a and b are sun like stars and together they form the binary star alpha centauri ab so they form this binary star system alpha centauri ab but with the proxima centauri then all of it would be assembled proxima Cent- i mean alpha centauri system would be assembled yes so while alpha centauri is he is a small faint red dwarf so the alpha centauri a and b are big sun like stars with alpha centauri a being a bit bigger than the sun and b being a bit smaller than the sun while the alpha centauri c or proxima centauri is a very small thing it is a red dwarf it is a bit more bigger than jupiter itself yes not even two times bigger yes so next alpha centauri a and b pair orbit around the common center with an orbital period of 79 79 years yes so i'm going to show it okay so the these three stars make up the alpha centauri system so this is the main important thing about this system yes so okay so let's take a marker okay so for example here is the bad center or the point where they are orbit so our alpha center a would be close to it yes so next alpha center b would be a bit far far from the bare center here so b this is a or alpha a next this would be alpha b yes so this alpha centauri b goes about like more further from the bare center than alpha centauri a so the distance is will change more yes so distance between the a and b varies from 35.6 astronomical units to 11.2 astronomical units yes so that is a big distance between both of them yes 
so but it is not that big the stems in celestial scales yes so like in celestial scales one light year which is a lot more than just 37 astronomical units is still small <laughs> yes so so it, alpha centauri b has a slightly more elliptical orbit and alpha centauri a goes around the bare center like normal yes so very far from here like very far from this place so there would be alpha centauri c yes so while these are like just 35.6 astronomical units from each other this proxima centauri c would or um, mean proxima centauri would be 13000 astronomical units from this both stars yes so it is like these two stars are just rejecting the other one yes but these two stars don't have any planets the only planets for this alpha centauri system are in the alpha centauri c system thing yes so alpha centauri would be somewhere over there and again it is just three planets so 1 2 3 here yes. so it would be very far from this place yes <laughs> so that is one not that funny so the alpha centauri system as a whole has three confirmed planets so they are all around proxima centauri so next the mass radius luminosity and temperature of these stars alpha centauri a and b so we are not discussing about proxima centauri because we already discover discussed it in the last video in the science series yes so first alpha centauri yeah so its mass is 1.1 times of the sun next its radius is 1.21 of the sun the luminosity is 1.5 times of the sun and its temperature is 5790 kelvin <laughs> yes it must be very hot yes so all of these are bigger than the sun so alpha centauri yeah is more has more mass than the sun so next alpha centauri b scale yes so its mass is just 0.9% i mean 9 times of the sun which is smaller and its radius is 0.85 times of the sun next the luminosity is just 0.5 times of the sun half of the sun's luminosity and its temperature is 5260 kelvin so one fun fact if we so we can see these two alpha centauri a and b from the naked eye but we can't see the alpha centauri c because it is too dim as it is a red dwarf yes and also from our view these two stars look like just one star because from here they just look too close yes so uh, then we can see them as just one star one very bright star so this system is the most brightest system in all of the centaurus centaurus constellation and also the alpha centauri a is so the alpha centauri is the third most brightest star in our night sky which we can see after two other stars known as sirius a which is also another binary system and also canopus yes so that's for today about alpha centauri a and b bye